Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this Scan Tool Network video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the iCarsoft CR Max kit, uh, diagnosing and hopefully resetting the ABS warning messages on a BMW 3 Series. Uh, the procedure that I'm going to show you is really just the same for any vehicle. Um, doesn't matter whether it's a BMW, Audi, uh, Mercedes, Porsche, you name it, it's generally kind of the same. But we've, you can see on the dashboard here, we've got the traction control warning light, we've got the ABS light there, and a few messages, and the uh, tire pressure warning. Don't worry about the tire pressure warning because that is a different issue on this car um, but for now we're using the CR Max I'm gonna put a link to this kit in the description below this video there are fakes there are clones out there so you need to be really careful when buying these tools uh, but if you follow the link in the description below this video you're guaranteed to be taken to a genuine and official listing for this product so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into diagnose we have this plugged into the diagnostic port and I'm gonna click on to BMW hopefully get our way into the ABS system and diagnose the fault so we're gonna automatically identify the vehicle you can select your own vehicle if you wish but it's found our vehicle so I'll just click OK to that and we're gonna click on control unit so I want to uh, diagnose a specific system which in this case is the DSC or the dynamic stability control so I'll click onto that and I click on to read fault code and it's telling me no fault code found strange um, one thing I, I do know about this is that sometimes it can put faults in a different place so if I go to uh, diesel this is the engine system here we go it's it's actually displaying them in this section here um, sometimes it can do that so it's nothing to really worry about but I guess the software will probably need to be adjusted um, but these are the two fault codes that we're getting um, CD 94F1 CD 94BB uh, permanent fault and it's got a speed sensor so signal speed sensor invalid transmitter fault does not trigger driver information at the moment and uh, same there but what I would do is um, put these codes into like a, a Google search engine and it should actually tell you which particular corner it's the fault is on but it's not doing that in this case ah here it is now right wheels it, it is showing on this one now so wheel speed sensor uh, rear right so it looks like that was where the problem was um, that's what I was hoping to find because we did know that in fact uh, before we made the video we put a new ABS sensor in because we were getting a fault with this vehicle and the ABS sensor um, so what we can do now is read the clear so we clear the fault memory and once we clear the fault memory we should be able to get rid of the warning lights so raising the codes there we go click OK it has got rid of the warning lights as you see though the uh, the TPMS is still there that's because we need uh, we've got a slow puncture in one of the wheels actually and also that is relating to that and that is because we've got the handbrake on but that was a quick demonstration of the uh, the iCarsoft CR Max kit um, diagnosing and resetting the ABS warning lights on a BMW it works on a wide range of manufacturers just to give you an idea there uh, it's a great package tablet based kit uh, I'll put the link in the description as I say if you want to make sure you get a genuine tool then make sure you follow the link in the description and um, you'll be taken to the official product thanks for watching and I hope this helps